Alrighty, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Alan Wake. Ooh, it's time. We are back and welcome back everybody. My brain kind of skipped over, but how's it going? It's Lord Prider Man here, and as you all know, I've been, uh, I've been saying we're going to get into this game, and now it is finally time to get into this game. I have no clue. I've never seen anything about this game. Like, I've never I've never Googled anything, YouTubed anything. I've never, like, I, the only thing I know about this game is that he's a writer. Something happens with his books, um, and that's about it. So we're going to be playing the remastered version. I don't have it. Yeah, I don't have a continued game. Um, but we're going to be playing the remastered version here. We're going to be getting into it. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun getting into this one. Um, it looks very horror-esque. I don't know if it's exactly a horror game, but we're going to find out. And this is going to be fun. A fresh experience, because I, I do not know what I'm getting into. Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. Okay, okay. <clears throat> I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse. For some urgent reason, I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. Ooh, god damn, that man's dead. I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. He was dead. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. Ooh. Also, I've never accidentally killed anybody in my dreams. I purposely killed people. And I've also done something a lot of people can't. I've actually lived past my own death in a dream. Suddenly, his body was gone. I was in shock from the crash. I okay. could hardly stand my feet. So we're going to be playing through his nightmares. Interesting. Ah, it's a bright light. Reverse controls? No, why would I do that? It's weird. Camera settings, okay. Hmm. Don't like that. It tells me I can sprint already, but all right. Ooh, I can jump. Damn, that's a bright light. Oh. I had to go to the lighthouse. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. Okay. To the bridge. Ooh, there is something the over collapsed. here. I'd have to find another way to the lighthouse. This is this is interesting. This is really cool. I like I like how he just kind of describes his dream. Oh, I thought we could make that jump. <laughs> Hell yeah, first death. Okay, let's see if it saves pick up items or if it just resets hard. I had to go to the lighthouse. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. Okay, so it looks like it is just a hard reset. Yep. The bridge had collapsed. I'd have to find another way to the lighthouse. Um, I want to know... Okay, there we go. I was going to say, I want to know how to change what shoulder it's over. I technically like looking over the right shoulder. I don't know why, 
Um, but I my focus is usually on the right side of the screen. Oh. What? You're in this story now, and I'll make you suffer. You're a joke. There would be a single readable sentence in your books if it wasn't for your editor. You'll never publish another one of your shitty stories, because I'm gonna kill you. It's not like your stories are any good. <laughs> not like they have any the artistic merit. You're a lousy writer. Cheap thrills and pretentious shit. That's all you're good for. Just look at me. Look at your work. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Interesting. So. Interesting. This is feeling weird. This is feeling very. Oh, whoa. All right. <laughs> I don't think we were supposed to go up there. <laughs> <laughs> um So does he do anything to us? This is feeling very I want to say meta, not towards me the player, but towards him the author. You think you're god. Oh, he can actually hit me. Okay, so I don't know See, guys, so this is weird. I don't know if this is supposed to be him bringing things to life or if it's supposed to be him. Uh, oh. You think you just make up stuff? Play with people's lives and kill them? You think it adds to the drama? You're in this story now. And is it going to knock me down? It does. Oh. Okay. Okay. But yeah, like, so I... It might just be his own fears, but then... I don't know why he would fear his own... Characters. You missed your deadline! Damn. You can't stop me! Try again. Alright. from the story I've been working on. Mm. How does it feel to die by the hands of your oppression? Okay. Ooh, that's cool. So this still is his nightmare then. I'll see it. This way, this way. Woo, that is cool. Bottomless pit, check. Oh, but Stuart. Oh no. Stop. No. Damn it, die. No, no. Ooh. No way out. 
Oh, look at that. That's cool. Oh, there's a bunch of eyes. All right. Whoa. That is loud. Um, it doesn't give me the option to interact. God. Damn. Oh, now, all right, all right, I see. Key up. You are hurt. You should go into the light. You are only safe there. Get into the safe haven. Okay. To you. Well done. I have something important to tell you. It goes like this, for he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green, where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? No. Follow my life. <laughs> I feel that. I feel that. Do you understand? No. <laughs> Thank you. Turn your flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. Right, right in the dick. Huh? You did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, what? controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take the gun. Pick up the revolver. Pick up the uh, revolver. I I don't know if I want to, man. Um. He is your enemy. You need to defend yourself. I don't want to kill anybody now. I have zero batteries. He's not gonna hurt me. Is this only for ammo? Out of batteries. How do I get more batteries? That sharp shoot. Good. You've done well. Remember what I taught you. That is all. I will give you back your dream now. Excuse me? Terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. Huh? You said you'd give me back my dr dream now? Who the fuck? Alright. Well, so I don't have any more batteries. Oh, damn.
All right, all right, we got some skills. Open. Oh, batteries. Nope, no batteries. It's a flare gun. Switch weapons. Oh, I see. Like butter. That was good. That was good. I'm digging it. Very smooth gameplay. I like that the light is still on even if I'm not aiming. So I can still do like passive light damage, which is nice. Cool. Oh, that's really cool. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. You can see the cars get like thrown with the shadows. Oh, oh, oh. I dig it. Oh, hold on. I see that. Yoink. Oh, shit. Alright, maybe we shouldn't have made the detour. Oh, I regret my choices. Nah, we got time. That's cool imagery. That's not good. Easy. Alan, wake up. <gasps> Shh, baby, just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. Oh, that is an odd axe. I didn't expect to be in a like in a car on a boat. We're gonna Bright Falls. Is this gonna be the place from our dream? City boy, moments before he got eaten by a bear. Hold on, we got a smile. Oh. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deer Fest is just two weeks away. Hold on, no, turn, fest, huh? turn towards Did the lady. That, huh? Smile. Yeah. You have a lovely wife. If you don't mind me saying, I'm Pat May, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host of the local radio station. Any chance I could get in here? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I 
He's a night show host? That's pretty interesting. Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. That's cute. Right. Yeah? Hey, bestseller. How's my favorite writer? Are you there yet? Very. Yeah. We just got him. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say yes. the word and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry, we're fine. Great, great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. How do I put my hand on the rail? Look how longingly into the distance. Okay? Okay. Just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. That's a weird thing to say to your editor. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. Let's see who has the last laughs. Alan, we're here. Okay. Why? Right? Why? Why is he so violent? You want to talk things over? I'll mess you up. Come on, Slowpoke. You get the full service here. I am trying to loot Goblin. Give me a second. All you have to do is drag your cute butt into the car and enjoy the ride. Yeah, sounds like you've got a lazy bastard for a husband. You think I'm cute? <laughs> Okay, looks like we're not getting any closer. All right, in we go. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes. Sure. Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you, too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. She didn't say I love you. That was an interesting reaction. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake, Alan, Wake. Oh, God, I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. <laughs> Glad to hear that. Rose. <laughs> I'm looking for Mr. Wake. Carl I, I love the voice acting so far. Mr. Wake. <laughs> He'll be back in a moment. Like everybody else seems fine, but Alan Wake just seems a little like I got the cut up from the bookstore. Disconnected. And you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. Do me a favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. <laughs> circulation. Yeah. I feel that. Serious coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Ah, it does that. Get stuck. Yeah, you need to give it a good solid whack. <laughs> You put the lime in the coconut, drink them both up. Now that's what I'm talking about, yes! This is it. I've Amazing. Gone to hell. <laughs> I don't know what those are, but I'm taking them. Alright, let's continue. Oh, See something oh, interesting? Oh, you can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky, to, to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans listen. always did. Hmm.
Don't mind me. Ah, oh, fine. Hello? Mr. Stucky? Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. Hmm. A little awkward. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. I like how he kind of faces to who he's talking to. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. This you know what? I'm gonna go back. I haven't seen her leave, but the old lady was gone. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's interesting. I just came back here for a gag because she said you won't get lucky a second time, and I'm like, bet. Huh. Uh, anything you wanted to say? I'll be heading back to work as soon as Dr. Hartman gets here, Rose. Oh, but I'm not looking forward to the poison we have at the park cafe. Okay. Now this is what coffee should taste like. Oh, Rusty, that's so sweet. I'll swing by with the fresh cup later on. Mr. Wake. Mm, do I have the option to punch my own cardboard cutout? Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Oh, how convenient. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! Huh? That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a hmm. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. So, I'll we got sent to the wrong we'll lodge. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer. But that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years. Not since my last book. Hmm. And now the weather. It's going to be a clear night, so you folks in the big city might want to look up every once in a while and see those stars winking down at you. Ooh, that is a nice cabin. Although, hold on, we're going to pause it. I don't know what video commentary is. I was just making sure there wasn't any copyright settings. It's gorgeous. 
It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. Oh. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. It's not... Okay. Uh, I don't... I don't know how to say this. I swear... Darkness... Like, actual darkness... Only exists... Underground. Or in caves. M maybe dense forests. But there is so much light at night. If you if you go out at night into a location where there is not a lot of light pollution from non unnatural sources, you know, like you know, city lights, building lights, like stuff like that. There is so much natural light at night. It's it's beautiful, Here but it's go. like let's take a look inside. Oh, you can actually hear the chimes. I'm sorry, I had to run into that. But like it, it, it's beautiful and it's crazy good. But yeah, no, there's the, the, pff, dark darkness exists, but very scarcely. Exactly. The island had once been the site for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. Oh, you trying to hit on your wife? I feel that. A generator. An old generator had been connected to the power cable. Hmm, probably good we started that now. myself I could rest here sleep here and forget about my work I thought we could be happy here but yeah oh all right Alice had told me about Calder oh. Lake Lodge the old building used to be a hotel but these days, it was no longer open to the public. Hmm. We gonna cut some firewood? Like a man. I like that there's little vocalized, uh, like, things around the map. You know, like, walking to that corner and getting a little tidbit about the lodge. Like, I like that. It makes, like, the world feel actually alive, you know? Alice? Honey? Why are these damn doors locked in my own house? Coffee. That's an awfully hot coffee pot. A shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on the shelf. I'd never heard of him before. This better be PG, Alice. Oh, this is not PG. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Ooh, hold up. What's this? Alice? What is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past. Damn, Alice, you. Everyone. Hey, keeps... hey, hey, just hear me out. There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe so now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not... Alan? Alan? I don't, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. 
God damn it! I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. Hmm. I mean, a bit of an overreaction, but I get it. Like, I, I 100% get that. We're out. Oh, what the hell? Oh, what the hell? Bird leg cabin? She did. She did as hell. Okay, good, go. I thought he was just gonna be like, oh no, and then stand there and watch. God, thank God he jumped in. that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. Mm hmm? Wait, so is this still the nightmare, or...? Among Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emile Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it, and I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. <laughs> the gas station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. Not, not really. That's not long at all. That's like, uh, it's like ten minutes. If you you know walk in at a brisk pace, oh, there goes my car. Vroom vroom. Um, Kyo. do I have a stamina bar? Okay, it looks like I have a stamina bar, but it's not visible on screen. Hello. Oh. Bright light. Someone there? Okay, so this is the nightmare then. Maybe we passed out on the bridge. Those sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. Mmm. Kind of like your nightmare. Departure by Alan Wake. Do I get to read the whole book? That'd be crazy. The man turned to face me. His face was covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us. But the axe he lifted was plain to see. It glistened with the blood of his victim. He grinned madly. The shadows were alive, distorting his features. It was a scene from a nightmare, but I was awake. Hmm. Hmm. This actually be kind of cool. Anybody there? What? Please, I've been in an accident. What? Should I have followed the path? Hold on, where is the path? Right, so I came from over here. Oh, I see, there's no real path.
The lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. It's also nighttime. I wouldn't count on that. Hard hat? Hard hat? We're going into a hard hat zone, and you're not going to put the hard hat on? Crazy. Anybody there? Please. I've been in an Hey. Hey, you. Phil. There's been an accident. I need help. Listen, Listen. I need to. What? Cabins for rent in. Nightfall. Oh, hell. Carl Stucky. Please. To meet you. Non refundable reservation deposit required. Fair and square. Mm. Fair and square. Awfully hot. All right. The taken stood before me. It was impossible to focus on it, as if it stood in a blind spot caused by a brain tumor and eye disease. It was bleeding shadows like ink underwater, like a cloud of blood from a shark bite. I was terrified. I squeezed the flashlight like my life depended on it, willing it to stop coming any closer. Suddenly something gave, and the light seemed to shine brighter. Mm. Oh! That almost got me. All right, time to use the flying glitch. All right, I don't know what I'm doing here. Wait, so does that mean I can miss pages? Ooh, that was pretty cool, though. Very telegraph, but neat, neat. Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. <laughs> nice reference. Uh, I don't know when this game was made, but I'm glad it does that reference. I guess The Shining was a long time ago. Okay, so we gotta be back in the dream. I'm just assuming anytime we have our weaponry, we're back in the dream. During your... It's really cool that I can actually bump stuff. Like, that's super cool. Yes. Right ball, Sheriff Station. Oh, man. Hello? Oh. Well, that's not good. Oh, that's cool. Let's get the fuck out of here. Or not. God damn. Oh, wow. So it give you ample time to jump off the edge. He's dead now, though, right? Don't mind if I do. So I can't dodge early. My head with a concussion. I 
I'd never fired a gun outside a shooting range. And now I just killed someone. Or something. There were no bodies. They just disappeared. If I was dreaming, it felt real enough to make me sick. Turn on. Boop. All right. Okay. Got an arrow pointing this way, though. I feel like I'm looking for pages constantly now. Alright, can't fit through there. Alright, so what I'm assuming is happening is that I can jump up here. No! Interesting. The dark forest was the last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. It's rabbit season. Mm, so it's giving me a lot of batteries. It probably expects me to aim it more often. I don't want to miss any pages, book pages. Oh my god, ain't no, no, no. Rose knew she had been gushing, but right now she didn't care. As far as she was concerned, her brief meeting with Alan Wake was literally the high point of her life. She watched as he got in the car with his wife. She was pretty, confident. At ease with Wake, not like Rose. They were perfect for each other. She'd have given anything to be called their friend. So are you telling me I missed all of these? Ain't no way that's real. Please tell me it's random. Cause if I miss that many pages, I'm I'm gonna be sick. I'll tell you that. I'm like, no, I can't. Ah, oh, oh, it makes me want to go back, but I don't think I can. Oh, I can. I don't hear weird Even breathing. The hand painted graffiti was revealed by my flashlight. Someone had hidden a chest of supplies near it. Huh. Oh, I see. Ah. Okay, we're just gonna go. I'm gonna be real sad if I am missing manuscript things, but we're just gonna go. I'll touch it. <laughs> uh. Ooh. that I like the speed I like the speed hold on this feels very natural I'm sorry I'm just like admiring this game for a second I do like the speed like it's automatically set at doesn't feel too slow doesn't feel too fast when I saw the river below something uncoiled itself inside my head I realized that I'd have to find a way across I didn't even want to look at the water that's nice water, though. Alright, time to go for a swim. Let's do this. <laughs> Alan Wake can't swim. Cue up. What the hell 
was that? When I saw the river below, something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. All right, we're across. Now we're going to quickly run over here to find another book page. Coffee pot. All right. Um, that looks like it's it. I don't know what those do for me. All right, we must have missed how many fucking pages? Six pages? There's no way we missed six pages in that little amount of time. Bro. F fuck, dude. I want to replay this now. This, this shit sucks, actually. Jerry Wheeler was bouncing off the walls. He jumped on a plane after his calls were ignored by both Al and Alice for several days. It could mean that they were both on a second honeymoon, but Barry didn't buy it. Al had been way too unstable for that. Not sleeping. Messed up. Barry had years of experience dealing with Alan Wake. And he couldn't ignore it. Something was wrong. So it feels like he's reading the book to his own life. Or he wrote the book to his own life. And now it's coming true. Stucky was still out there, in the dark, stalking me. Okay. Ooh. No, what are you doing? Oh, okay. That was a weird little auto stumble towards the ledge. Although I thought there'd be more. It might just be a way down. I can go left or I can go down. That is interesting. Let's go down, though. Okay, uh, there's not a down. <laughs> All the way back here? You're crazy. Yep. What the hell was that? Spooky. When I saw the river below, something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. All right, we grab this. Bro, why do you have such terrible stamina? It's like I can run every, you know, I can run every three seconds. Spooky. Okay, let's go back this way because there is the manuscript. Stucky was still out there, in the dark, stalking me. Barry Wheeler was bouncing off him. Yep. I don't think we've met a Barry Wheeler yet.
Well, actually, maybe that's our, um... Okay, I might be thinking too... Too much, because maybe that's just our, uh... Editor. Whoa! Since when can you throw stuff? Damn! I am owl. Alright, alright. This game doesn't want me to dodge right now. gonna do a little bit of exploration the staircase was broken I had to make my way up some other way hmm that's an awfully familiar staircase I don't know what's happening at any single point in time. I'm just doing things. Oh! I okay. Them before I saw them, swooping down from the sky and screeching as they came, I spun around just as the cloud was upon me. For an instant, I stared into a hundred dead eyes, black pearls glittering in the darkness. I raised the flashlight and the swarm exploded like fireworks. Feathers burned, turned into ash. I couldn't hear my scream above theirs. Hmm. Okay. So I guess that's a, uh, hint. A gun! Yay! Let's stick with the revolver for now. Where did I put that? All right. Coffee pot. Hell yeah. Okay, so this is the thing I was talking about. This is a wench. Let's go up here really quick. See what's going on with this.
All right, whole lot of nothing. That's gonna come over here and give me a way across. I see. Damn, I saw it. Boy. Nice. Well, I was just outside for a breath of fresh air, and what a night. I, I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but if you're still up and around, take a moment. Step outside for a spell and breathe in deep. The weather is absolutely still. The sky is crystal clear. It's like the forest is quietly breathing along with you. You listeners know what? I'm a night owl, and it's on nights like this I wish I wasn't cooped up in the studio. It makes an old man like me wish I could just roam wild. <laughs> but here I am, and it would keep you company all night long if I weren't. Yeah, it looks like uh, I'm not the only one staying up late. Caller, you're on the air. Hey, Pat, it's Maurice Horton. Hello, Maurice. What are you up to? Well, I was just taking Toby on his walk. Oh, isn't it beautiful out there? Sure, but Pat, the reason I called is that Toby heard something rumble in the undergrowth and took off after it, and I couldn't find it. Probably a rabbit. Sure. Toby loves rabbits. Well, sure. Anyway, I figured that, you know, if anyone runs into Toby, they could grab him. My number's on his collar. And Toby's a friendly dog? <laughs> Toby loves people. Usually he comes back, but we were pretty far from home, and it sounds like he went pretty wild there. Great dog, but he just didn't come for his own good. <laughs> well, Maurice, it's out there now. Hope Toby comes home soon. Yeah, thank you. You have a good night now. Hmm. Oh, is that all that is? Okay. Onward. Oh. If only I knew where that was pointing. Picked up another flare gun. Where's that pointing? Hmm. All right, well, we already found the loot. Oh, I feel like we're missing shit. At first, I kept finding the pages as if by accident. The book I couldn't remember was either a terrible and true prophecy or an act of creation that had rewritten the world. I began to hunt the pages feverishly, for they held the answer to the mystery. With it, I could save myself. With it, I could save Alice. Hmm. Actually, can I just click that again? I can. I don't have to exit out every time. Got it. The gas station was closer now. It's <gasps> like welcoming in the darkness. Coffee pot.
Hmm. Oh, hi. Ah, I see. Damn, I can't dodge that? Get shot. Hmm. Activated a safe haven. I see. I see what's happening. Yep. Alright. They purposely did that. I saw as soon as I got them both on the same side, that other guy immediately, um, immediately started circling me to get them to get back on the other side of me. That was an intentional pincer. At least it was programmed in. see something I stepped into the gas station's garage it was dark and quiet the place was a mess it looked like someone trashed the place or that there'd been some kind of fight light spilled into the room through an open door at the back and I made my way toward it without any warning I was blinded by a bright light an old portable TV on the shelf had come alive by itself impossibly I could see myself on the screen, talking like a madman. Hmm. Wait, so what's over here? Did I miss something? <laughs> Taking a little time to reload. Awfully hot. <laughs> I'm gonna say that every time. It's just in my head now. Hmm. So that's death. That is also death. Ah, I thought there was more. Safe haven. Interesting. So are these guys just going to spawn infinitely? Looks like. Okay. I forgot where I went. Oh, this is bad. Alright, it's probably getting close to another uh, enemy spawn. Oh, nope, we're out. Let's go. Hold on. Texting and gaming. Don't try this at home, kids. 
Bam. Let's see how this flare gun works. I feel like one of these is going to be a trap eventually. Like it's teaching you slowly to trust it. I don't, I don't trust it. Hold on, where is this one leading? Is it saying back? Is that what it is? It's saying to turn around? Alright, we're just gonna shine a couple things to make sure we're not missing anything. It's normally at eye level, which is what I like. It doesn't attempt to hide much. Oh, that's a lot of people. Time to test this out. Oh, 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 hell yeah. That was actually kind of cool. I like I like the flare gun. I like it a lot. What is going on? You have fun over there? That's oh, not over there. Oh, that's dangerous. Oh. Coffee pot. Nah. Manuscript, actually. Let's check it. Lake, she asked. The sheriff looked at me suspiciously. The early morning light flooded through the office windows. I would probably never have gotten out of the woods alive without her help. But I couldn't tell her the truth of what I'd faced the previous night. She'd think I was lying or crazy. She'd lock me up. And she wouldn't help me find Alice. Hmm, so we're reading into the future now. Okay, we gotta... So I'm waiting for all of this to come to fruition. Hello. Shotgun ammo. Aw, oh, big fight coming up. Boop. Science. It bestows immortality on those who advance it to elevate all of mankind. Newton, Einstein, Sagan, princes among men. But the price for such a legacy is steep indeed. In Night Springs. Tonight's episode, A Quantum Suicide. If our lives are already written, it would take a courageous man to change the script. Having called a press conference, Dr. Barclay Colvin is about to demonstrate that very courage. Ladies and gentlemen of the press. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of the Twilight Zone. So many of you could join me here at the Moorcock Institute. The what? <laughs> As you can see, this is a loaded 9mm pistol. It shall be part of a thought experiment. And now, a real experiment. <laughs> 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 Did he say suicide? Is that a real gun? I was, was going to say that, that that black please, kid looked please, very concerned when he pulled out the gun. <laughs> Observe the flower pot. And 
And yet, I myself cannot be harmed with this gun. With each pull of the trigger, two new realities branch off. One in which the weapon didn't fire, and one where it did. With my machine here, I have ensured that this reality is always the former. I have bestowed upon myself quantum immortality. Under no circumstances can this gun kill me. Uh, so wait, wait, wait. What you're saying is that every time you pull the trigger, in another reality, you die? Yes, yes, of course, but that's completely trivial. There's an infinite number of things that could happen at any moment, and they always do happen somewhere. The point is, this one thing did not happen oh. here. You're insane, Colvin. Insane? Insane? Oh. Hey, was this thing supposed to be plugged in? I stumbled on it. You fools. Gaze upon quantum immortality. <laughs> He's a fucking idiot. <laughs> Poor Dr. Colvin. He... Held by his own hubris or the ignorance of the masses. Perhaps he should have left the crate unopened, the decaying atom unobserved. Curiosity often kills the cat. In night springs. <sighs> It's it's funny. It's really cool, but the guy even said, "Hey, I unplugged your machiney. <laughs> you know, your little doohickey. Uh, is, is that is that supposed to be like that?" And then he still shot himself. You're just an idiot at that point. A blam! Oh, hold up. I did a whole lot of nothing. I stopped rocking at a weird angle. Oh, that's death. Let's not do that. Oh, they're all rocking now. Except the one that was rocking before. What's with that? That's pretty cool. Hey, ooh, coffee pot. Ooh, he thought. That was pretty cool. <laughs> Stucky's body vanished, leaving behind only a lifetime of nightmares to come. Assuming I'd reach the lights of the gas station alive. All right, here it is. Awfully hot. Um, no new manuscript. I'm disappointed. That was easy. I thought that would be another, you know, little electric puzzle. Is 
It's a big deer. I recognized the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. I can move a car? Damn, I'm strong. Okay, so this is where we walk into the garage and then a lady finds us and she doesn't believe us. In the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting. At least for a moment, the same world reasserted itself. Manuscript. All right. So it looks like the missing pages we have are scripted events. Stucky spat on the garage floor and tried to shake the cobwebs from his head. Ever since the couple never showed to pick up the keys, things had been fuzzy. Something, a feeling caught his attention. Stucky looked up and stared as his brain tried in vain to process the horror before him. He stumbled back, knocking over a can of oil. A black pool spread across the floor while he struggled for a brief moment, then let go as the unrelenting darkness engulfed him. Damn, you kill kill Stucky like that. The Deer Fest had been two weeks away when we arrived. If the day count on the banner was right, I was missing a whole week between the night we got here and now. Hmm. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Up. Uh. Wait. Oh. I saw I saw the blue and I the thought we were uh... was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place. Or that there'd been some kind of fight. I had to get inside the gas station to find all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Not gonna let me explore for a second. All right. I'll keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside the cabin. Outside the story, there's only darkness. Mm. I can feel her presence in the dark. <laughs> Just now, I could smell her perfume in the room. I'll reach her. I'll fix it up. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. I don't believe this. It'd been me on the TV, talking crazy. Was I losing my mind? All right, and now we meet someone in here, yes? Or maybe. Right ball sheriff station. Oh, there we go. Ah, it's the cop. Okay. That's who we meet here. Oh, thank God, Sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker. You are I'm Alan Wake. But listen. I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Lake. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake. Not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Are you okay? Listen. No. We'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake, and then we'll go to the station, okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. Yeah, I she shot him. Me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. Hmm.
Nice, and it continues automatically? Aw, oh, you spoil me, game. Previously on Alan Wake. I can't find this. Hold on, I want to see what this trophy is. Okay, make the phone call. My All wife, right. Alice. Thank you for coming here with me. I thought maybe you could write here. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Now, she's missing. Alice? Alice? I woke up behind the wheel of a crashed car. I'm missing a week. I was attacked by shadowy men straight from a nightmare. The sheriff took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at. But the cabin had disappeared. Mm. weather I've ever <gasps> seen you should put some coffee on it'll warm you up Awfully hey handsome hot. this is gonna be a long night but these shots are turning out great I guess you're gonna need that coffee then I'll go put it on fuck we did miss some pages hold on do I get to see Okay, so we only miss these ones that have the symbols. So there's something there's something different about it. Maybe it's like a new game plus or something. Oh, right, 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 right. We should probably see what it says. It's true what they say about the fall and the sudden stop at the end. I'd lain here in the snow while the lurid chain of scenes that had led me here kept playing in my head. A rerun of my own private snuff movie. A memory of my corpse. Alone at my own wake. Thinking in metaphors again. The femme fatale was gone. Only a sour taste remained of the kiss that killed me. Hmm. This was a late goodbye. Thirteen years after I'd gotten my revenge. It had finally caught up with me. It had been a long time to bear the pain. My blood painted the snow red. The gruesome, slushy, dissolved all the scattered painkillers and leisurely dripped down to the sewer mingling with the bile of the city, becoming one with it. I can see them now, my wife and my baby. Honey, I'm home. Hmm. Oh, these are all our books. Oh. Oh, yeah. Nah, I can't go in. All right, fine. Freezing rain and heavy snowfall have necessitated a winter storm warning in the entire tri-state area. People are advised to stay indoors as many roadways are already closed. And city officials are not mm. expecting snow crews to keep up okay. with the We're now on the third day of the blizzard. The weather is not expected to clear up anytime soon. Hold up, we gotta explore first. Alright, doesn't look like there's anything else. Coffee's on. Great, thanks. There ain't nothing in that. I just finished those cover mock-ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. On occasion, I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. 
Oh, really? Well, you seem to think so last night. Oh. <laughs> okay, so we would have gotten the sheet anyways. These look really good. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> Alan? Alan, please check the fuse box. I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Please hurry! Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. Hi. You okay? I'm sorry. I just... It just really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. I know it's stupid, but it's just... Especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, writer. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really mm. spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. The clicker. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. <laughs> Maybe it'll help you too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you. Even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. What makes you think what, what makes you think the clicker story ain't true? Mr. Wake, any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wake, how are you feeling? I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Mm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Doc Nelson was the image of a small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. I'm sorry you had to cut your morning fishing short for this, Doc. Oh, she's a beauty, ain't she? Not the biggest I ever caught, if you can believe that coming from an old fisherman like me. But she's right up there. Now, she's a largemouth bass, which is what you're after if you prefer a lure. Now, if you want either trout or salmon, on the other hand, then it's fly fishing for you. Um, you a fishing man, Mr. Wake? Oh, doesn't really matter, I suppose. But it can be very relaxing out there. You can't get me off the water this time of year. Closest thing to heaven. I'll take your word for it, Doc. Hmm. What? Read? Oh. Come in, Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Oh, give me a second. Don't mind me. Rootin' and rootin'. Mr. Wake, the sheriff is waiting for you in her office down the corridor. <gasps> there we go. Alice looked through the viewfinder, lining up the shot. Cauldron Ooh. Lake was breathtaking. Something caught her eye. A figure standing in the shadows behind the cabin, like a thin woman in a black dress. She lowered the camera and looked again. No one there. Just a collection of bushes that looked vaguely human-shaped. She shook her head and laughed. 
Hmm, we never saw that part. Coffee pot. Yeah, it's uh, Mulligan here. I'm at Stucky's gas station with Thornton. There's no sign of him. Over. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, this is Thornton. Look, we've located the brake float. It's here. That's some good news, right? Stucky was supposed to be driving it at the rehearsal today. Over. Oh, give me that. Mulligan here. Looks like someone really thrashed the garage. Over. Okay, roger that, guys. Keep looking for Stucky. James out. Hmm, so what happened was real. The sheriff wants to see you in her office, Mr. Wake. So we're starting to blur the lines between the dream and what's real. Mr. Wake? Yep, got it. Thank Have you. Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse me. I need to take this. Hello? Alan, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the boss. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife. Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're gonna meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Mr. Wade, can I help you with anything? Don't do nothing stupid, pal. We're watching you. I couldn't go anywhere yet. I had to play along with the caller. Alice's life was at stake. I need to get some hey, air. The sheriff hey, said I could go out mister. back. Hey, can you turn the light? The light's on. The deputies, they won't, they won't. Thank you, man, thank you. Hey, you're all right. You're a good guy. Don't let anybody tell you different. You know why I shouldn't <laughs> even be in here? The cops, they got it. All wrong. See, sure, 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 I beat him up, but I wasn't drunk. I mean, I wasn't drunk at the time. I only got drunk afterwards. Okay, listen. Listen, listen, you gotta listen carefully now. Here's the kicker. That wasn't Danny. No, sir. I only looked like him. You wanna know who it really was? Hmm? It was a goddamn space alien! I know it sounds like something that a drunk would say, but believe me, I wasn't drunk then. Hmm. So he's experiencing the other people too. Uh, the darkness. In spite of its human mask. To describe the dark presence as intelligent would have implied human qualities on something decidedly inhuman. Nonetheless, it found the one spot in the diner that was dark enough. Some light spilled into the corridor, ravaging it. But it took the pain. Horrible as it was, the writer would soon fix that. He would be coming to the one place where it still had power. Ah, I see. The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. Awfully coffee. The caller had told me to find a hole in the fence behind the police station. There was something for me in an abandoned car. Damn, that thing shattered. I thought it was just going to fall Alice's over. Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for 
a week, you and Alan. I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Al, what the hell is going on? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. The kidnapper fired his gun one last time, and the shadow vanished into the darkness it had come from. See? Nothing to it, Wake. The thought of Alice in his hands was revolting. We stood on the wooden platform of Lover's Peak, the waterfall in the mountain behind us, the lights of the radio mast blinking red in the heights above. I fought with the urge to take a swing, forced myself to speak. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? Hmm. So we do get to a confrontation with this guy. The writer is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness, shapes it from nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. Wait. So, are we not actually playing Alan Wake's life? Are we just playing his story, and he wrote his own life as a story? Assure you that my staff has been reprimanded. Tor and Odin never. Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about. Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh, hey! Oh, my! <laughs> hey, nobody move! Get your hands off of my client! Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Get me out of here. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were gonna lock you up. Why do you why are you dress like that by the way? I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money. And he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him! Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. <laughs> Damn. Balcony, looking at the mats. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later! Man, some people really just do not Max. like the limelight. What an airhead. Jeez, mister takes a swing at everybody. This is right? not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. Like, yeah, you don't gotta be a jerk about it. Like, I get people can be overbearing, but, you know, just smile and brush them off. Seriously, At no Al, point do you ever what you were have saying to in the car, rude. just listen to yourself. What, you shot a guy and his body just disappeared? Oh 
was the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? No. All Look, you about. Barry, I'm missing a week. And someone's got Alice. Do you and everything's just what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong. It's a good story. Could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Right, wait here. The funny farm? <laughs> you talking about the loony bin? Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. <laughs> hey, Rusty, right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. What happened? Crazy poachers. Max here got his foot caught in a trap. They're illegal to use here. Hell, you're not supposed to hunt within the park at all. But that doesn't stop some lowlifes. <sighs> well, at least Max is going to be okay. He got lucky. Max is still groggy from the shot I gave him, and I'd rather not leave him alone just yet. The form's on the desk across from the mammoth skeleton. That's the buck tooth? Alright. Seriously, Al, you can't just go and meet a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in disaster. You gotta talk to the cops. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No. This whole thing is... Listen, yeah, you no was the right head. answer there. I mean, geez, Al, come on. You gotta understand how crazy all this sounds. If you're trying to pull a joke on me, freak me out, it's working. Ha ha, let's have a laugh on Barry. Well, you had me going there real funny, Al. You can quit it now. I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. If you have any trouble finding it, just keep your eyes on the radio mast. It's right below that. Oh, and hey, if you take a walk in the woods, watch your steps. <laughs> Damn it. Don't end up like Max. I Guess keep a worried. Jeez. Oh, a bunch of campers out there we haven't heard from. It's not like these people are on a schedule, but with the traps, <sighs> well, you know. I, I keep to wanting to turn away, away when he keeps talking. I'm just going to leave. Okay, bye. Thanks. You're asking me to believe that you shot a dude who went poof, into thin air, a guy who was bulletproof until you pointed a flashlight at him. You hear that from people who end up spending time in padded rooms, strapped to their beds. Wearing white shirts with two long tangled up sleeves and eating a healthy diet of pills. Al, you make cruel jokes about people who believe that kind of stuff. You're the skeptic. You gave me an hour long lecture on homeopathy last month. What was it? If there's no proof, it's pure bullshit. Period. Guess the laugh's on me then. Al, come on. I mean, okay. Okay, maybe something weird happened to you, okay? Well, thanks for the heartfelt vote of confidence. All I'm saying is you gotta throw me a bone <laughs> here, best What's seller. with that neck? <laughs> what would you think if it was me? There's no way you should be going out at midnight with a gun. No one asked you to come here, Barry. Either work with me on this or go straight back to New York. Your choice. Uh -huh. All right. That's just crazy talk, Al. Al. Al? We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry. They'll kill her. This is not a goddamn debate, Barry. <laughs> I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help, and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. Just be careful with Freeze. the natives, Al. He's Freeze. I have a gun. Everybody hates a tourist, or it'll be deliverance all over again. 
Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> this place is trying to kill me. I'll bet there's mold in here, spores, poison ivy, God knows what. This is so not worth a 15% commission. Batteries, awfully hot. Locked door. Um, I'm looking for manuscripts to be completely honest. Oh my god, I actually jumped off. Oh, I didn't think that was possible. <laughs> I actually almost died. Oh, let me back in. There we go. Another one. Okay, what, what what are these doing? Coffee thermos. So it's just a collectible. Can pyramids knocked over? That's an actual thing? I thought that was just a fun little, uh, shoot. I didn't think that was an actual thing. I thought there was something there. Okay, looks like there's nothing around here. I knew I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done, but I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them, and they had Alice. Oh, I took out my gun. All right. All right, let's see. Okay, we're on, we're on track. With Alice, but he knew Alan loved her with an almost frightening intensity. And now something had happened to Alice. And here was Al armed with a gun and saying things people got put in padded cells for. It was as if his friend had experienced a massive psychotic episode and was now totally disconnected from reality. It scared the shit out of Barry. Hmm. Okay, so we're behind the script now. Barry had the keys to the car he rented. It wasn't a long walk to the visitor center, and it wouldn't be any use to me in the forest. I guess we're going off the beaten path. I missed that jump scare. I did not see what just popped out. Okay, so it seems like every section it resets our weapons. Welcome back to the show, folks. As promised, our very own Dr. Nelson has just parked his rear end in the studio. Doc, what's your deer fest plan like? My plan? You make it sound a lot more organized than I ever seen one. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Am I crazy or did somebody just walk by that window? Tell me about it. No sack race for us older gentlemen, huh? <laughs> yes, exactly that. But I'm gonna check out the parade, of course. And I'll be one of the party times. Nah, nah, we're out of here. Fuck this. <sighs> what? Oh, 
What? Hold on. Was that one of the poltergeist things? That it was just poltergeist objects destroyed. So I gotta destroy this? Yeah, I don't know exactly what to do about that. Alright. I can't really destroy it. Do I kill those birds or or maybe it's the birds that attack me? I'm fucking keeping an eye on the windows now. That was a pretty interesting one. Okay. 
the manuscript page. Yoink. The air in the visitor center was heavy with an awful smell, as if some rotten drowned thing had crawled up from its grave. Rusty kept coughing blood. My eyes were drawn to the twisted shape of his broken leg. The attack had been vicious. Max whined in his cage. Rusty's eyes were wild with fear and terror. He gasped. Mr. Wake, it happened just the way it was on that page. Huh? We haven't gotten to Rusty's assault yet. Rosa, oh my God! There's so many Rose on this knew one. That Rusty was in love with her, and she liked him too. She liked him a lot. He taught her to dance, and life had certainly taught her the value of a man who was gentle. He treated her well, made her smile, made her feel good. But Rusty wasn't the prince of her dreams, and that tended to underline the unbearable truth. She was no closer to that Hollywood magic than he was. So she wants to be a star. Ambition. Hazard, yeah, right. So on that page oh i found it came true it knew so dark it'll come back for me you must the lights in the office I, I have the key okay rusty hang on i'll be right back whatever did this couldn't be far rusty had found a page from the manuscript it would help me understand what had happened Alright, don't worry, I'll put you at your misery. Oh, he's bulletproof. Good boy. The only way to make sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. I like that one. Okay, so let's see if we can find any more manuscript pages back here. Got a coffee pot. Oh, there's one right here. I'm blind. The visitor center was sturdy, but the impact turned the front of the building into splinters. Rusty was thrown across the lobby like a rag doll and hit the far wall hard. It didn't hurt until he tried to move and saw his leg bend the wrong way, felt the broken rib stabbing him on the inside. Rusty howled in pain and fear, suddenly afraid to die alone. Hmm. Wait, so was that the was that the page he had found? Maybe this is the page. 
At the last instant, I changed direction and threw myself down. The axe splintered the trunk of a tree. I stumbled into the pool of bright light. My lungs burned. I was too exhausted to move. I tensed as I waited for the killing blow, but it never came. I raised my head. Nothing moved in the darkness beyond. For the moment, bathed in the cold light, I was safe. Ammunition batteries lame. Oh, ammunition. Don't mind if I do. I was too late. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back on. Okay, so the, it recharges automatically, so I don't know what the reason for the battery is. Something had torn a mammoth sized hole in the wall. <laughs> oh, the mammoth's still there. I was really hoping the mammoth would be gone. <laughs> Damn. Please don't feed the animals. Oh, is it corrupting Rusty? Yep. Bitch, sit down. I'll just take more of that. Don't mind me. Whoa, there's still more people. Damn, they almost snuck up on me. Dodge those, it doesn't give me an option. Like, I get it sometimes, but more than not, it doesn't give me the other option. Was I supposed to continue that way, or like, what's up? Oh, the dog got out. Ah, here we go. What? Oh, I gotta sneeze. All right, I'm back. Oof. Yo. 
Ah, my legs. Forget about it, Barry. It's just me going crazy. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You're not crazy. I wish you were crazy, but you're not crazy. Ow, be careful. Stay in the cabin. Don't open the door for anyone. I mean it. Hmm. So he believes us now, which makes sense, but ha, huh, it's really confusing me because it's taking away from this being a book or a dream, and it's like very heavily going on this, like him being uh, like actually affecting the world. In that last instant of consciousness, Rusty thought about Rose. He was older than she was. Rose was barely out of her teens. But she made him feel young and forget what a train wreck his long dead marriage had been. He still wore the ring. He'd been waiting for her to tell him to take it off. Now she never would. Hmm. That's kind of sad. Okay, I can't shoot those birds. So it's not those birds it wants me to kill. Peak was at the far end of the nature trail. Mm, what is this? Feels like there's so much to explore. Ah, it was a trap. Oh, I got jumped from behind. I don't feel completely helpless. It's a uh, it's definitely an interesting interaction because there's two ways to do weapons in horror. And this one does it in a way where it makes the horror not so um Imposing, I guess would be the word. Which I guess it's good because it turns it more into an action game than it does a horror game, like a RPG action. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Okay, two shots each. So more than three enemies, two enemies reserves.
Looks like looks like we might be going down that way. Checkpoint. Hell yeah. Wait a minute. Have I not already been here? This looks oddly familiar. Nobody in Bright Falls seemed to know where Al was, but Rose, the waitress at the diner, had seen him. From what Barry could tell, Al pretty much fell off the face of the earth when he left the diner. Rose was just the kind of fan that Al hated, but she really tried to help. She was smart, too. Knew a lot about what was going on in the town. Knew a lot about Al. Even knew who Barry was. Barry liked her. That was no big surprise. When it came to women, Barry and Al rarely saw eye to eye. Hmm. Okay. Probably gonna get jumped here pretty soon. It's a weird thing, too, because you don't want a gun to be, like, absolutely useless in a horror game. But you don't want it to be, like, a pinnacle point. And, you know, like, you, you need this gun 100%. Like, with this, it feels like I can't progress and I can't survive without the gun. I was getting worried there for a second. Oh, hold up. Is that a page? Nope. Alright, back to the path. The great old one. Okay, interesting. So I have to dodge when they throw it, not when... Damn. I will say it is annoying how they purposely get out of view and then throw stuff. Smart for, you know, game design. Makes me have to be hyper aware. I thought I dodged. Damn, there's more than one. Okay, so it looks like if I just spend too much time off the beaten path, the people will show up. And then there's scripted events. not uh okay. 
Okay. All right, so we're still on track. Turn the corner, afraid of what the flashlight's beam might reveal. Suddenly, a roughly painted symbol of a torch glowed in the light. Behind it, hidden by a rock, sat a battered metal trunk. It was here for a reason. Packed with supplies, batteries, flares, ammo. Things you need to make it through the darkness of the night. Something left behind by someone who knew what I knew, and more. Hmm. Okay, okay. So that's just talking about the, uh, the stuff we've collected. With the symbols. I see. Alright, onward. I haven't seen any more of those yellow uh, signs. But I will always go off the beaten path. Alright, whoever's throwing that, your mom's a hoe. Damn, I thought I dodged. Oh. On this tree for a second. Boom! Alright. God damn, that was a close one. I keep getting hit randomly. It's probably because I was out of position, because I'm meant to approach it from this side. I don't think I'm going the right way. Additional ammo over here, unfortunate. Kinda got a whole lot of nothing now. I got two shots. <laughs> two shots, one for the big bitch, one for the little bitch. <laughs> Agent Nightingale didn't want to be in Bright Falls. These little communities revolted him, and he didn't like the trees or the coffee. He now knew that impossible horrors lurked behind the storefronts and smiles. He desperately wanted to turn the car around and just drive until he passed out or ran out of road and booze. But he had a job to do. He had a rider to catch, at any cost. Oh! So we have a detective after us. Interesting. Shit. I didn't finish exploring. I didn't realize this was the correct path. But now that I think about it, there we go. It makes sense. Why did continue this path. Oh, it's just swaying in the wind. I thought that was a poltergeist. Well, now I am fully out of ammo. Hell yeah. Well, 
we're getting combat music. This is gonna suck if I uh, run into bad guys. They are faster than me, sadly. No ammo. This is sad. Alright. <sighs> Let's do this. Oh, let's not do that. Wow, it, it'll actually let me just jump off. That's crazy. Shit. Oh, it's a bird. Oh, it's gonna hurt. Spooky ghost people. Oh, and he's gonna say it's as simple as that. Come on, we gotta get moving. More of them coming. That flashlight's kid stuff. The flares will keep the bastards away. Hmm. Is this the guy? You do you have? Too? Do you have my of wife? Of course I see him. Come on, we gotta move. Why? <laughs> because that's the way the story goes. Yeah, but let's move. I lost my gun back there. Oh, I've got a gun. Just keep that light steady on. It took a moment, but then I recognized him. He'd been on the ferry when I first arrived here with Alice. He knew my name. We were headed in the direction of Lover's Peak. There is no way this was a That's who you are. He was the kidnapper. Come on, Wake. You better keep up. You set him up, and I'll knock him down, Wake. You gonna do anything, bro? I might actually be useless. Oh! Okay, so it looks like I have to dodge to the side. Doesn't look like I can dodge straight back. Push me. That's blocked off. Shots, hit your shots. Oh, I can't believe I died. <laughs> of course I see him. Come on, we gotta move. Why? <laughs> because that's the way the story goes. Yeah, but let's move. I lost my gun back there. Oh, I've got a gun. Just keep that light steady on it. It took a moment, but then I recognized him. He'd been on the ferry when I first arrived here with Alice. He knew my name. We were headed in the direction of Lover's Peak. There was no way this was a coincidence. He was the kidnapper. Come on, Wake. You better keep up. Hear that? It's them. Get your ass ready, Wake. Damn. 
Where you guys keep getting all these axes? Whoa! Alright. Ah, so you're supposed to use this to kind of keep them back. have to kill all of them. Alright. I think that's a good plan. Let them get close and then use this so we can get their, uh... There we go. Please hit your shots, dude. There we go, finally, dude. These stairs, Wake. Use the flares from the emergency box to hold them off while I get these boards off. Are you shitting me? Yeah. No can do. Ah, shit. I got four flares left. Are you kidding? Give me the gun. No time for back talk. Pull him off, damn it. Doom. Just a little longer. I almost got it. Okay, it's open. Move it or lose it. Die on Oh, you feel it better now, Wake. All cozy and safe. Come on. Over existence. This guy's very violent. Better get ready. They'll be on us soon. Alright, we're just gonna follow the path. Doesn't look like this there's much. The last stand. There's more players here. Get ready. We fight them as long as they keep coming. Give me the goddamn gun! They're coming! That's not how this goes. <gasps> I wish it stayed. Oh, it does stay lit where I drop it. Not for long, though, sadly. Alright, I seem to got a good, uh, good little thing going. Hmm. Alright, I have two flares left, yikes. How, what, what, how did you hit that shot? Ok, 
Can you guys not get hit till you get there anymore? Oh, how did you hit me through that? It's crazy. Woo, get dodged. Mm. Oh, what the hell? Guy. Nice. Oh, he said the line. See nothing to it. All right, enough Let's with the games. The yeah, cut the act. Where's my wife? I knew you were gonna say that. I read it all before. You're a hell of a writer. Congratulations. You're gonna bring about something glorious and terrible once we get you some uh, proper editorial control. What the hell are you talking about? Where's Alice? I want the entire manuscript, or she's gonna suffer bad. You touch her all. Oh. because he thought it held some magical power. But I had no manuscript to give him. I had to get back to Barry and figure out my next move. What the hell? So this is the obvious path. On more than one occasion, Alice had tried to explain to me how it felt to be afraid of the dark. To her, darkness wasn't simply the absence of light, but something more tangible than that. It was something you could touch and feel. Worse than that, it was something with a mind of its own, something malicious and malign. For her, things changed when they were wrapped in darkness. They turned into something else, something foreign, and nothing was safe or innocent anymore. I'd never really understood what she meant until now. Hmm. Okay. We got that. So we have flares now. That's a resource for us. Let's go this way. Thermos? What? Ooh, that's a lot of flares. I also got an achievement called Finders Keepers, and that's pretty funny. I wonder who made this game. Because it seems like a rather simple game, as well as some of the acting in the game. Like from the uh, like TV clips and everything. It doesn't look high budget at all. So, like, I, I gotta believe this was done by a smaller studio. Which is pretty cool if it is. Because, you know, they don't often port small studio games, like indie games, over to consoles. I saw that. Oh! All right, that got me. I I saw it. I thought that was like something you could pick up. Not something that would, you know, clamp me. Yeah, I don't think there's anything up here, but I'm just going to go for it.
I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking for. I'm looking for manuscript pages. That's what I'm looking for. I'm afraid to to miss some. Okay. So what do I what do I do about this? I can shoot them. Okay. Good to know. So this is where I just was. Let's not waste the ammunition. Reflect in the light, so I gotta make sure to keep light everywhere. That's a trap. That's hilarious. No, it's not a trap. Yeah, I thought it was a trap here. Hmm, guess not. I'm just gonna kind of comb the area. Weird that it makes me dodge to run. I thought there would be more than just one. I have the high ground. Is that a coffee pot? I fell. Well, it was a perfect time to check out a whole lot of nothing. Oh, yeah. Damn, you fuckers are fast. dealing with that. Damn, that does like insta-kill them. That is nice. Got a generator here, some batteries. And we're gonna grab this page first. Alright, still on the right track. One desperate situation after another. I was exhausted, and my body felt as though it had been chewed up and spat out. The flashlight was heavy in my hand, and each pull of the trigger sent a painful shock up my arm. But I was finally out of the woods, and things were looking up. 
That's when I heard the chainsaw. What? <laughs> <laughs> I was looking away when uh, I didn't... Okay. Um, fuck. <laughs> he said chainsaw. What? You telling me I gotta deal with a motherfucking chainsaw? I don't wanna deal with a chainsaw, dude. Uh, Alright. So this is... looks like the point of no return. So let's run around real quick. See what we can find. I don't know what's happening. What? Oh. Is this one? Added, sent a shiver down my spine. Can't get on top. That's point of no return. This is down. But what about... It's telling me left. Did I fuck up by having this tilt? Hmm. No, something is where it needs to be. Oh, hey. Thank you. Well, why... Why is the plane like this? Unless I needed to lift the plane for something. I feel like I was supposed to do something in the plane, but I didn't see any, like, manuscript pages, nor can I get back on the plane. Alright. Up. Up. Okay. So this was a whole puzzle. Got it. Alright, let's leave. I don't think there's anything left for us here. Alright, where's the chainsaw?
Okay. Grab some stuff. No pages anywhere. Ooh, I see that. I feel like I'm at an impasse. I, I can't save. Because I can either go over there or I can go up here. Alright, let's go up first. Maybe I can't go up. Yep, that's just death. Oh, come on. Come on. And then we like that. Come on. Right, yep, if we show up, let's quickly turn around. Boom, nice. Whoa, where the hell did you come from? Two, three. Thought I missed the second shot. Ah, oh, this is a safe haven. Interesting. Okay. Oh, what the hell? Damn. Damn. Oh, you are the one attacking me. That's a dead end. Let's not kill ourselves because I don't want to have to redo that whole thing. Ooh, that's not horrifying at all. Funny enough, that actually kind of spooked me a bit more than the actual enemies. I don't know why it lets me destroy those, but I mean, like, I'm okay with it.
When Barry saw Ooh. the darkness attack the visitor center, it made him a believer. The men Al said he'd shot, they hadn't been just locals on crank. Somehow the world had changed, like the channel had been switched without warning. You think you're watching a sitcom, and you're really watching a horror show. When the birds started attacking the cabin, Barry wasn't surprised, just terrified. Hold on, I feel like we missed something. Oh, it does damage me. I, my, my thought process was like, ah, oh, you know, I don't, I don't see a reason to actually be, you know, doing this. But it does indeed damage me, like a full hit. That's crazy. The logging site was a mess. The modular office had been pushed off the cliff. Deputy Thornton climbed up from the wreckage, excited, breathing hard from the exertion. Nobody there. It's weird. Don't you think that's weird? Bored, Mulligan let out a mighty snort. Hell, it's always weird, Thornton. Just a question of sorting out what kind of weird it is this time around. Hmm. Also, we're missing a page, which upsets me. I mean, the two pages were back to back right here. So I assume we'll come across the others. Awfully hot. Where am I going? Oh, right. Back. No, no, this is upstairs. Huh? Oh, here we go. No, 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 this is where I picked up that. Yeah, what the hell? What's going on here? You think you're some wild guy, eh? Oh, I see. Ladder. making sure hi there can't scare me with that oh I did not mean to uh, like that whoops the darkness where's her face Nice. So did Alice get eaten? Yep, hunting rifle. Oh, isn't that what I have currently? Aha! Please tell me it's the one in between. It's not! Shadow stirred and the wind picked up as I ran through the forest. I felt the dark presence turning its gaze toward me. Then the moonlight was blotted out by dark shadows that raced violently across the ground, moving too swiftly to be natural. Fuck! Darkness gathered between the trees and melted again to reveal the Taken. No natural path had brought them here. I missed one. Where did I miss this one? We literally got Barry meets... Oh no! Very no. Falls seemed to know where Al was, but Rose, the waitress at the diner, had seen him. From what Barry? Oh fuck! We did miss one. It was the one on the. Oh, it was the one that was up. There was a way up, wasn't there? Fuck! Oh, I hate this. Mm, it's fucking that one right there. I know it is. 
Is it not? Is it? Let me up. Is it not? Is there a way to get to that? There's no way to get to that from here, I don't think. Oh no, it loops around. That's either the last one or. I don't know what's going on. I'm so fucking. Uh, I'm so upset. Why did it look like the path was leading this way? God, there better be a way back. No shot. I fucking... I botched it, dude. Oh my god. There's no way back to that note, is there? Damn it. I botched it. I can't believe it. Where does this where does this reset us? Ugh, resets us here. I don't think I can go that far back. It's that one right there. I fucking know it is. Mm, okay. I don't think there's any way I can get it now. Because <sighs> even if we go back, hold on. <laughs> even if we go back here, there's no way up there. I can't make these jumps, can I? Nope, it's not even an interactable platform. Maybe if I climb onto these boxes and then jump onto the roof and then up there? That might work. shit. Alright. Uh, Alright, we'll just move on. Oh, you guys, you guys don't know how much that bothers me, actually. Uh-huh. Yeah. You're so special. Okay. Let's re-get this one. That missing page is just gonna fucking stare at me, and I know it. Uh. 
hold on. Let's grab this rifle. There's a whole ass tree. Ah, oh, there's the chainsaw. I was wondering when you'd show up. <laughs> oh yeah. Did you live? Oh my god, he lived that. That's crazy. Keeping an eye out just in case now, but like I'm not seeing anything. I think we done screwed up. Nice reference. Stay hit. I'll be there soon. Just make sure you keep the lights on. I still had to reach Barry at the cap, but at least I was out of the woods. All right. Let's continue. Something's there. It's a car. Let's look around for this last page. All right. The FBI agent's command throws <gasps> me in place. I considered surrender. It was all falling apart anyway. I could give in, let someone else deal with it, but it felt all wrong. Cold instinct. His posture, the way he held the gun, he was no friend. Shots ringing in my ears, I leaped for the hole in the fence and stumbled into the darkness beyond. So I didn't miss, no, I still missed one. Where, wait, 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 where was that? That was so far back. What the hell? Am I missing anything else? So I'm missing three pages. Uh, it's that one. That one that I can see in my face. My head. It bothers me. Hello? Hello? Excuse me? Thank you. Are you pooping? No. 
Knock, knock. Please tell me it's a bad guy. Please tell me I come I in here and a bad guy pops out. The garage. A story is not a machine that does what you tell it. A story is a beast with a life of its own. You can create it, shape it, but as the story grows, it starts wanting things of its own. Change one thing and you set off a chain reaction of events that spreads through the whole thing. The characters have to be true to themselves. The events need to follow a logic that fits the story. A single flaw and the magic is gone. The story dies. Alice dies. So I feel that. I actually know what he's talking about. Because I, I used to write stories in my head. That sounds weird, but... It mostly started off what I guess what you would call self inserts into things I was watching when I was very young. So I would watch like Naruto or I would watch, you know, like Ruby or I'd watch, you know, like uh from from what I can think of, those are the two main that I remember putting inserts in. Um but I would basically just be watching different animes and I would try to create a character of my own to throw into that world um, just to see if I could do it. And eventually one of those ideas stuck with me and I ended up basically writing a whole story. Fucking new. That's pretty, that's pretty funny though. But I basically ended up writing a whole story um, from beginning to end. It's, it's I consider it really good. Um, but I get what he means by the story kind of starts guiding itself because you make these characters and in your head you get a feel and representation for what how you want the character to act, what you want them to do. But then you hit parts of the story where it just doesn't feel like the character can act any differently from sometimes a decision you don't want to happen. And it's just like, you know, like, why, why am I so confused about changing my own work? And it's just because it doesn't feel true to the character. From what you envisioned and what you imagined, it doesn't feel like it holds true. And I get that, because, you know, that's how my story evolved. It just flowed naturally. I didn't try to... Ooh, we get to drive. I oh, fuck, I missed. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So like, I definitely didn't try to uh, to force it or anything. And it basically just became a point of, you know, it's happening. It's happened, it's happened. Do I need to follow the road? No, I don't. Okay. I'm sorry, I probably shouldn't be laughing at this, but this is entertaining to me. Oh right, we're going back, I see. I remember. Force me out. All right, I would have just driven through. Whoa, where the hell did you two show up? Where's my wife? 
Enough horseplay, Wake. You deliver the manuscript, and you can have your woman back. Simple as that. I don't... Listen. Listen. I'm gonna need time to finish it. I still need to write the ending. I need... a week. Not done? I need a week. Two days. The old Bright Falls coal mine is nearby. You can find it easy, city boy. The main building, there at noon. You bring the manuscript, you'll get your wife. Not... well... get me? Yes, yes, I, I get you. Hmm... His wife's in danger and he really asked for a week. Oh yeah, alright. Okay. Barry I'll... talked about birds over the phone. <laughs> He's crying. I killed a whole bunch of them. Save it for a second, right? Oh, oh, okay. Right off. Is that all? Oh. I should get him. Damn, alright, chill, chill, holy shit. Y'all getting overconfident now. A psychotic episode, man. Well, you know, I sent Barry to the town to ask around about a man fitting the kidnapper's description. He'd go through the archives of the local paper, perhaps he could learn something, anything about the island and the cabin that had disappeared. The man wanted a manuscript. I had to try to write him one to get Alice back. Oh. For me, the supernatural had always been nothing but a metaphor for the human psyche, a tool to use in writing fiction. Now, it was happening for real, and I couldn't put a single word on paper. Barry Wheeler speaking. This is Rose. Rose? I found Mr. 
Mr. Wake pages. Oh, you sweet, brilliant girl. Could you and Mr. Wake come get them? I live in the trailer park outside the town. We'll be there in less than an hour. See you soon. Mm, have a great day. Yeah, she did not Hope seem you come uh back soon. Welcome, welcome to the, the old dear diner. Good girl. She's been taken. End of episode two. Ooh, holy shit. All right. This is super exciting so far. I'm, I'm having a lot of fun, but I think I'm going to end it here. I don't have too much time left, and I don't want to start another episode and not finish it. You know what I mean? So I think this is a really good time to pause the game right now. But man, this is actually really cool. I, this is not what I expected from the game. I expected more of a like uh more like a Silent Hill vibe. But this is actually really cool. It is more of a um like an action RPG than it is a horror game, mainly because the the uh gun mechanic is such a heavy influence on the game itself. I more like the idea of the light, but I want the light to be more of a keep like, it is a very heavy keep-away factor, but with the gun, it turns it in more to an offensive factor. At least for me. And I want the I want the light to play a more defensive role. But so far, I'm really enjoying it. It's funny, because... <laughs> it's really funny, because I, uh, I saw a tweet about Alan Wake 2... Where somebody's basically just saying, like, can he just stop writing books so this shit will stop happening? It was pretty funny. Alrighty, but that is going to be the end of this stream. So thank you all so much for joining me. Actually, you know what? Hold on. We're gonna we're gonna wait to do the outro. Just for a very particular reason. Um that I just want to make sure of. Previously on Alan Wake. Hold on, we're gonna pause this. So, thank you all so much for joining me. As always, if you like the game, go ahead, drop that follow. If you like me, go ahead, follow me, YouTube, Twitter, anywhere else you can find me on the same name, Lord Fighter Man. And I will see you all in the next one. Fighter Man out. <laughs>